was participating in a marathon for breast cancer um, with the Mayo Clinic in Florida and actually learned about their program locally in radiation therapy. That was my first exposure to it and it seemed to match all of my interests perfectly. Around my teenage years, uh, my grandfather had passed away from cancer, but uh, he talked about radiation therapy and he developed a relationship with his therapist. He'd go every day, five days a week, almost two months straight. I chose radiation therapy because it's a field where you get to help patients who are facing one of the scariest things, which is a cancer diagnosis. And you are with your patients five days a week for multiple weeks at a time, so you really get to know your patient. One of the nicest things I think about our program is, is we send our students the very first semester out into the clinical site. So they will have classroom work here during the week, and then spend about 20 hours per week in the clinic. So they have the opportunity to immediately put into action what they've learned. What stood out to me about the Wayne State program is that they are the first radiation therapy program um, that was started up in the state of Michigan. So they are the oldest running. Um, and I also find very interesting that it is a very small, close-knit group. It is one of the few accredited bachelor degree programs in the United States. Um, they have high academic standards and a small class size and a great clinical component that really prepares you and gets you the experience that you need. Well, I was already a student here at Wayne State and their program allows you to rotate through multiple hospitals so you get a lot of different environments and types of patients that you get to work with. We have experienced faculty. We use um, our physicists uh, through Wayne State University uh, in teaching physics courses and um, you know they have hands-on training in the clinical setting with some of the latest uh, equipment. Over at Wayne State we see everything from breast, prostates, uh, head and neck, brain tumors, even uh, rare extremities such as in eyes and nose cancer, toe cancer, and we go through a bunch of different machines and each machine is different so it gives you a lot of experience so when I'm ready to work in the field, uh, hope, uh, hopefully I'll be ready.